Hi Raven users, Jamie Z here, going to show you how to set up UPDD gestures on MTI1 and MTX screens that use the multi-touch platform. So let's get started. We'll want to go into our Slate account and download the latest Raven 3.5 installer. Once that's been downloaded, we will run the installer. Now this is going to install a new version of V-Control Pro, the Raven, multi-touch platform, and it's going to install UPDD touch driver, which is where we're going to get the gestures from. So once it finishes on Raven and V-Control, we'll just go, have to go reopen V-Control. And then we'll install the UPDD driver that will give us our gestures. After UPDD is done, we'll install the latest multi-touch platform. And we'll restart the computer. After restart, we'll open up the multi-touch platform. And if you're using dual displays, we'll want to reconfigure and recalibrate the display. Next, you'll notice we have all these hand icons and different icons up in the menu bar now. One of these is Tuio, which won't be needed as the multi-touch platform handles Tuio right here. So we don't need UPDD Tuio. We'll go into settings and we will uncheck start at login. Save that. Type in your password and go ahead and quit Tuio. Next, you'll notice you have this hand icon up in here. This is gestures, UPDD gestures. If this isn't open, if you go into utilities, UPDD gestures, you can go ahead and open this application, and it'll open up the settings window. We can also get to the settings by clicking the hand icon and select settings. Now, in other settings, we'll want to check that we have show and menu bar is open. Start at login is there. And now we'll click the hand icon and select load profile from. Now we'll go into documents and the Raven gestures folder which has been installed. You'll notice the MTI1 MTX gesture expansions. I'm going to be setting this up for Pro Tools but you're going to be sure to select your DAW here. And hit open. Now we'll notice all of our settings. We will see our key commands are set up for Pro Tools. Rotate left is command E, rotate right is command M, and at the bottom you'll see a five finger squeeze is set to command control option W, and this is going to hide and open plugins in Pro Tools. Now an important thing to note is that multi-touch platform is handling all of our mouse and keyboard simulations that's checked on here. So we will need to disable anything that's a mouse single tap in these gesture settings. So you'll see tap is set to no action, press is no action, and drag is set to no action. If you set these to do a click, now everything we touch is going to be a double tap. So be sure to set that to no action. And anything with two or three fingers can have its own custom actions. Now we'll also notice that we have set Tuio to read port 3334. This is because Raven is going to be listening to port 3333 for a multi-touch platform, and then it's going to be rebroadcasting that to UPDD gestures. If you want to use gestures without the Raven app, you would set this to 33, and now multi-touch platform is going to send Tuio to the gestures application and we can do something like set a two finger double tap to open that application switcher. Now you'll see I can switch applications with a two finger double tap. But we're going to have to open up the Raven so we're going to set this back to 3334. We'll launch Pro Tools and the Raven application. 
Now you'll notice we can hide and show plugins by doing a five finger pinch. We'll toggle our plugins open and closed. We also have gestures for breaking these regions. If I rotate left, it'll break. And a rotate right will mute. Now let's set up a custom one. So I'll go into the gesture settings. And I'm going to do a three finger drag to zoom in and out of this region. So I'll click to open up three finger drag. I will set three finger swipe down to a keystroke control command up. And we'll do three finger swipe up. Set this to keystroke. Click set keystroke. And this will be control option command down. That's going to zoom us out. Now I could select these tracks and a three finger swipe down is going to zoom in. Three finger swipe up is going to zoom out. This is very helpful when you're trying to edit. Another one we would set up could be a four finger drag. We can do a four finger left to do shift control command L. Four finger right could do keystroke shift control command parentheses. Now if we select, want to select some tracks, I can zoom in and a four finger swipe left or right. You see it's going to highlight the tracks. And then now we can mute those and zoom out. Another great one is going to be pinch zoom. So we're going to go into our system preferences. In the accessibility tab, under zoom, we'll make sure use scroll gesture with modifier keys to zoom is on. Now. If we hold down control and pinch zoom, we can hit these small buttons here. It's important to note that if you pinch zoom, the Raven faders are going to be off because Twilio doesn't respond to pinch zoom. So if I go ahead and pinch zoom in on here, and now I try to grab a Raven fader, it's not going to work. Off the pinch zoom back out, now I could get my Raven faders. But to easily pinch zoom to add an insert, Browse and pinch zoom out. So now that I've set up my own custom gestures, I want to save this profile. So I'll go click on the gestures icon. I'll hit save profile and I'll save this to a special spot. And this will be new MTI1 gestures. So now if I load a different profile, or switch a different DAW, I always have my custom gesture saved and can import those. A great way to make sure that the gestures are working correctly is to open up the gesture log. I'll clear this log out and I'll make a little space on our window here. So now I can show you when I do a three finger drag you'll see that UPD gestures are showing that. If I do a three finger up, you can see it performed the keystroke and it saw that. If we do a rotate left, rotate right, the gestures log is showing the gesture and that means it's going to function correctly. If it's not reading your gestures, you may have to go a little wider or switch to a more a easier gesture. If it's not showing the gesture, you may have to change to an easier gesture or perhaps something isn't set up correctly in the gesture settings. So there you go. Gestures for MTI1 and MTX. Bye.